Another application of the RX run bridge is to measure the performance of balance and unans. Here we have a core, uh, a, a two material, uh, what's called a red core. And the type 2 has a frequency range from around about a quarter of a meg to 10 megahertz. We're going to measure how good this is as a ballon. It's uh, made as a Ruthroff ballon, which are just two windings together wound around the core. So we'll switch the receiver on and we will see what the impedance the ballon presents to the RX bridge. We have a 220 ohm resistor across the what's called the four times step up impedance connections. So we're expecting a 4 to 1 reduction from 220 ohms down to something. Now we've set it at 7 megahertz and so we'll switch the, the bridge on and we will null the bridge. I'll zoom down on the dials. So there's the R dial. Here at null at 50 ohms. And there's the reactance. Shows about 15 PF at 7 megs and that you can work out what the reactance is. But these uh, balance do have some, re some inductive reactance. That's 7 megs. So let's have a look at uh, 4 megahertz. We'll null the bridge again. Naturally the inductance uh, is falling. It's now falling to 40 ohms instead of 50. We'll now go down to 3 megahertz on the receiver. The inductance has fallen and it's now fallen to around about 30 ohms. If we go down to uh, 2 meg, we'll see that here. Select 2 megahertz on the, uh, on the receiver. And we'll look at the uh, reactance and resistance. Now it's fallen to around about 20 ohms. So this particular transformer or ballon, uh, its lower limit is about 3 megahertz. So if you intend to use this for uh, the 160 meter band, it's, it won't work. We'll go up to um, uh, 29 megahertz and just have a look up there, see what it does. 29 megs. There's the inductance. Now it's still working quite well at 29 megahertz. There we go. Here I have another example. It's a yellow core, which is a type 6 material. And its frequency range is supposedly 3 to 50 megs. I've wound this slightly different. I've used uh, some figure 8 wire. And this particular ballon at 2 megahertz, as you can see, has, is much better. In fact, it uh, presents um, around about 40 40 ohms, whereas the other one was about 25 ohms or 30 ohms. And at the uh, 3 megahertz, it's 50 ohms. And at 29 megahertz, it's still 50 ohms. There we go. So that material is so, so, somewhat better at uh, 2 megahertz than the other one.